do that? Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll talk about the Merman, or perhaps I should call him the Riverman of Ulnta River. It is a terrifying cryptid that supposedly lives at the bottom of a river located very close to my home. Therefore, I went there with a friend of mine to investigate the area. Buckle up, because this is quite a scary tale. To fully understand the tale of the Riverman, we need to first investigate another very similar urban legend called the Neck, which is said to be a shape-shifting water spirit, known from Scandinavian folklore. They reside in rivers, streams and lakes, and can shape-shift into any animal with four legs. They usually take shape as a human, or a horse with a very long tail. The horse would lure people to touch its tail, after which they would get stuck. The neck would then jump into the water, dragging the unfortunate victim down the water to drown. That brings us to the Riverman, or Merman, the most famous of which lives in the Ulnta River. The scariest part about this specific Riverman is the fact that he requires a single human sacrifice every year. Otherwise, the river will rise above its banks and cause massive destruction. Right now, we're at the river where the infamous merman is supposed to live. And if you look behind me, this is where you can find him. And we're going to return at night to hopefully lure him out of the river somehow. And we, we brought a few things to do it with, like a doll and a spirit box. All kinds of stuff, so maybe, maybe we get lucky. Sometimes he is referred to as invisible, and other times he is referred to as an old grey man, from the neck up with the body of a fox, and the hoofs of a horse. He is oftentimes also referred to as a sort of merman, with a mostly human appearance. Other sources say that he is a very beautiful man, Therefore, it's hard to imagine what kind of creature I'm going to meet, if I am indeed unfortunate enough to be his human sacrifice of the year. I'm now going to do a spirit box session asking the merman a few questions in Danish, so he understands. Er åmen til stede? The battery is acting up again. I mean, it's doing something weird on the screen. Hvis åmanden er til stede, må du gerne sige noget til os. this doll at the river because maybe the river man or the merman wants a human sacrifice today so we're gonna place this doll to trick him hopefully So uh, we just moved a bit away from the doll to hopefully lure the merman 
um, up from his river and to take the doll instead of us, hopefully. We found a scary tunnel, but since we didn't have the proper clothing with us, we decided not to venture inside. But maybe it'll require thorough exploration at some point in the future. When people would drown in the river, it was always said that the river man took them. If a year passed without a single drowning, the merman would rise above the water's surface and say, quote, The time has come. But the man is not yet there. End quote. This spell bound one of the men who overheard the merman's calling to drown themselves in the river. And of course, if no one sacrificed themselves, the water would rise with great destruction as a result. Other stories tell the merman taking two human sacrifices the following year, if a year had passed with none. Another big part of this urban legend is the fact that he is said to lure people into the river with this beautiful violin music. So therefore, we'll have to listen carefully for any kind of music playing near the river. Because if we do hear violin, we probably shouldn't get too close. Found it. We decided to explore the exact location where Hans Christian Andersen, the famous Danish author, wrote a story about the merman. The story is called Klokkedybet, which roughly translates to the Bell Deep. At the Bell Deep, legend has it that the river is completely bottomless. When Andersen was eight years old, a boy he knew called Thyr drowned in the river. He wanted to practice swimming across the river, but suddenly he was missing. A couple of hours later, his body was found. The elder ladies of the neighborhood would then tell the tale of Omanen, which is the true Danish name of the cryptid we're discussing today. They claimed that the folkloric figure had taken the boy with him. Perhaps this is why Hans Christian Andersen wrote the story The Bell Deep. If we should have any chance of finding the merman, this is the ultimate place to do so. <laughs> when the bell rings, that's when the merman appears. It only <laughs> it, it only bell two times. So why? Only two times. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's, oh that, a red. that's a red. It's gone. Maybe. Okay, we've now placed the doll at the side of the river. So maybe if we go away a bit, the merman will take him. So 
So we just caught a rat on camera. How do you feel about that? Uh, not that good. I feel kind of creeped out. Yeah. <laughs> it was kind of gross, to be honest. So, Nasty rat. There he is. At least we, uh, we caught something. <laughs> yep. Did it touch the doll? No. Oh, good. It only sniffed. Well, I guess we didn't really catch anything crazy then, but at least we tried. We tried our best. Um, and that's all you can do, really. And now up the creepy staircase. Okay. Whoa. You can't even go this way. Unfortunately, we did not find the merman this time around. But that's not to say that he isn't down there somewhere, hiding. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video.